if I plot two continuous values, for example, economically disadvantaged and limited English proficiency, which are these two columns here, economically disadvantaged is numbers, limited English proficiency is numbers. So if I pass limited English proficiency in as the X and economically disadvantaged as the Y, I should get an XY scatter plot. And we see that indeed that is what I got. This is a pretty clumped up distribution. It does look like um, there is some relationship between economically disadvantaged communities and limited English proficiency, although we don't know anything about cause and effect. It would actually be quite nice to be able to have a trend line through these data so that we could see what the overall trend is. To examine a trend like this, we need to use the linear model or LM function. The format of passing data into the linear model function is just pretty much like the format for plot. The dependent variable gets passed in first with a tilde and then the independent variable. So y tilde x, but the function is linear model. There's a variety of linear models that this will generate and we're not gonna go into details on this. This is more of a intermediate statistics question. But for now, we will just say that when x and y are continuous, the kind of model that it's gonna do is to create a linear regression. So if we run this function and just ask what the output is, what the, the model output is, it will tell us the slope and intercept of the best fit line that goes through these xy pairs that we're passing in. If we use the ab line function and pass the model into that, it'll create a trend line on top of this existing scatter plot. And if we use summary of model, it will tell us the results in the form of the statistics associated with the statistical test. Let's go ahead and generate a linear model so we can see that I'm gonna pass in exactly the same um, dependent and independent variable as I did up here for plot. And if I run that, I don't see anything obviously happening, but if I ask R to print the model, it will show me the slope and the intercept of the best fit line that fits through the points. And if I wanna see the line itself on the graph, then I'm gonna use the AB line function. And when I run that, I can see that it does insert a line on the top of my scatter plot. And finally, I can take a look at the overall statistical test by running a summary function. If I do that, I can see uh, I get a lot of information about the actual model. The two things that I am the most interested in is the uh, R squared. The R squared is not very big. It's only 0.4. So that tells me it's not a particularly great fit around the line. However, the p-value is a lot less than 0.05. So this line does slope significantly upward. So that's just a bit of what you can find out from the linear model, and we'll see more details of this in a future set of lessons.